On this episode of Eric Mintel Investigates, Eric and Dominic travel to Old Lyme, Connecticut to investigate the Old Lyme Inn. Jazzy activity has been felt at this location for quite a while. Dominic discovers an entity lurking in the shadows, and the team comes face to face with an otherworldly presence. What they discover will shock and amaze you. On this episode of Eric Mintel Investigates, Spirits in Residence, The Old Lime Inn. My name is Eric Mintel. By night, I'm a professional jazz musician. But by even later at night, I investigate the paranormal. I, along with my team at Eric Mintel Investigates, travel the country investigating all things paranormal. This is Eric Mintel Investigates. From their humble beginnings, Ken and Chris Kitchings have created a multifaceted venue serving the old Lyme community and the jazz world with elegance and class since 2010. The Side Door Jazz Club has been recognized as one of the top 100 jazz clubs in the world by Downbeat Magazine. Eric Mintel Investigates was brought in to investigate this incredible gem of the community. Eric Mintel, jazz musician, lead investigator, Eric Mintel Investigates. Dominic Sattel, spirit medium, co-lead investigator. We arrived, and as Dominic tuned into the property, I met with Chris Kitchings. Well, back in uh, December of 2010, uh, my husband and I inquired about the status of the old Lime Inn property. Ken was looking for a possibility of starting a jazz club here in Old Lime. Neither one of us had any desire to operate an inn in a restaurant, but the location was ideal for the jazz club. Naively thought we could do this renovation in four to six months, and it turned out to be uh, more than a year. Just opening up eight of our 13 guest rooms and one room of the restaurant. And then it was an entire year later that the uh, Side Door Jazz Club came into being. In two th May of 2013, the Side Door Jazz Club opened, and uh, now 11 years later, it is recognized as one of the best jazz clubs in the world by Downbeat Magazine, and we're very proud of that. Uh, we've had some really incredible musicians come through here. It's kind of an unexpected little treat. It's made it a fun spot. A few years into our operation, um, I sensed that there was something not quite normal here. Uh, there was an energy that was, I felt, bringing us down. And at that point, I reached out to a friend who was very connected to a uh, paranormal community. And I said, gee, could you contact someone? I would like that person to come to the inn and see what they think. That person uh, called me within minutes of receiving the call from uh, my friend. Instead of saying, hi, this is Veraline, she said, German. I just heard a woman say three words in German. I don't know what it means. And I was like, okay, that's, <laughs> that's interesting. And I am of a very strong German heritage, so that struck me as odd. We set up a time for her to uh, come to the inn. She had never been here before. She walked through the front door for our first meeting and proclaimed, Hilda, Hilda, she is unhappy with how the kitchen is being run. And I thought, okay, that's, that's interesting. We sat down for, oh, almost two hours, and she hit on some things personally, uh, especially for my husband, Ken. When I left the inn that day, I called my sister, who's the family genealogist, and said, do you know any Huldas or Hildas in our family? And she said, as a matter of fact, our great aunt Hulda was a, a Catholic nun back in the 1920s, 30s, and passed away very abruptly 
um, at the age of like 34. Hulda being an unusual name, it was fascinating to me that I actually had a great aunt named Hulda. Upon reviewing this footage, when Chris says Hulda, you see an orb go from Chris's neck area to the left. Watch closely. Once I sort of started thinking about her in relationship to the inn was that she was not happy because she had this previous experience with with a kitchen and she was right. <laughs> Things were not being run right at that time. Looking for a vacation home? Look no further. Will Nicholson, the real estate pro, has just what you're looking for. World-class entertainment at Schweitzer Mountain or water sports at Lake Ponderé. Idaho has it all. Fresh powder skiing, live music, multiple restaurants, and downhill biking in the summer. And if you're lucky, you might spot Bigfoot. He loves it here. Give Will a call today. We're in Old Lyme, Connecticut, investigating the Old Lyme Inn. Now, on the way up here, though, you were talking about, you know, a spirit that was kind of angry. Like I said, I was feeling, I was feeling the presence of a woman upstairs. Um, she was she was happy that I was here. On the stairs going up, there's I, I feel and I see the carpet was loose on the steps, the runner, and somebody had fallen down. You're almost spot on, but I'm not going to say exactly what happened until later, until we get to that area. But you know what? In the meantime, it's getting cold, so let's eat. All right, Ooh, look at that. So yesterday, just before you came here, I had no idea that you were gonna be here today. Uh, the timing of this is what made me have to mention something. Um, I was serving a table, and we were going through the history of the building and when it was you know, built like 1865 and so every time I'm, we talk about the history they say oh there must be some spirits in here or something going on and it's like oh yeah definitely everybody always mentions it but the timing here was crazy because as soon as we were done there was a bunch of flowers that had jumped off the mantel place over there and we're like oh there they are wow. so <laughs> and I had no idea this was going to be today so I think it was the timing of everything that just like I, it alerted me to have to mention it. So right here, a former worker saw a glass basically fall right off of the shelf right here. Here's the video. After I talked with Chris, and after what Dominic was sensing at the top of the stairs, we decided to start the investigation there. So already, Dominic's feeling something at the top of the stairs here. Uh, Chris told me that there's an angry spirit here. We're gonna be doing a little experimentation at the top of these stairs to see if there's any residual energies, so stay tuned. Now I'm wondering if I go down to where I felt the stairs slip, if there's any energy there. Go ahead. This would pick up. right around in here but yeah I'm not getting anything right now before we even came up here I was getting visions yesterday which would have been Saturday uh, of a figure standing at the top of the stairs in the hallway yelling get out not yelling at the patrons the people that are staying here yelling at the help um, not a happy person wasn't happy with the way things are that the way it was being run at that time. What Dominic just described is almost exactly what Chris just told me earlier during the interview. Once I sort of started thinking about her in relationship to the inn was that she was not happy because she had this previous experience with, with a kitchen and she was right. <laughs> Things were not being run right at that time. I went to my room, which is down the back hallway, 
that's when I saw her and she was still standing there very sternly. She wasn't saying anything, but she was there. So, and now we're getting energy up here at the top of the stairs, which is where I'm at now. And I'm feeling people up here as well. Whoa, orb, just got an orb. Seriously, just <laughs> got an orb. Thumbs up. This, this is where you're saying top of the stairs, somebody fell down these stairs. Wow. So I hope the runner gave way and they went sliding down the steps on their butt so they didn't really get hurt right but it was enough to be a scare man there is something on these stairs dom and it's Absolutely. it's next to you it's next to you because i'm just oh, whatever it was what's the magnetometer reading zero wow but kiss one it's jumping one to three and then going back to zero. Oh man got another one they're all over this. They're all over this area. There's, I'm telling you, there's activity right here. I want to go. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh my God. You got to see this. The playback shows many orbs coming in and out of the frame. This wasn't dust because there were no vents in sight. What else was in store for us tonight? In the heart of beautiful Bucks County, you'll find Peddler's Village. A village of shopping and dining. A village of family fun. A village of elegance. Visit Peddler's Village today and make memories that last forever. Hi, I'm Dominic Sattel. I'm here with Eric Mattel Investigates. I am a spirit medium, and today we're here investigating the old Lime Inn. So already right here in the hallway, uh, even on the way here, Dominic was feeling some kind of like spiritual energy at the top of these stairs. He didn't even know anything about this place. So to get the orbs that we're just getting now, that means that as Dominic just says, they're trying to reach out. Spirit is trying to reach out. We're like 20 minutes into it already, we're getting orbs. With no further activity on the stairs, we decided to go over to the jazz club. Dominic was being pulled to this area by an unknown presence. So this spirit that's here like this because it was a smaller venue and it made his sound, people were able to feel it more and it made him, made him feel better. I, I see him, he's sitting there, uh, he's, he's tapping his foot. The stage wasn't always in this spot. But he was a musician. But he was a musician. Yeah, that's, um, there, I mean, there's other people, spirits, you know, I shouldn't say a lot, but there are other spirits here, but they're patrons that love to come yeah. here and listen to the music. And they're still here because of the music. You don't know this, but you're almost, you're picking up on it. This used to be called the Elegante. Now this used to be a mob hangout. All right. So maybe you're feeling those those energies there, but there were musicians that were in here. There were a lot of different energies going on in here, but it was way before at the side door, so it's nothing, anything recent. All right. Shanghai Jazz has been a staple of gourmet cuisine and incredible live jazz for over 20 years. Owner Tom Donahoe has created an atmosphere where good food and good friends can gather for an unforgettable culinary and musical experience. And don't forget to check out the new Encore Lounge downstairs. Choose from a variety of drinks and wait for the show to begin. Shanghai Jazz, your destination for jazz. We're in Old Lyme, Connecticut, investigating the Old Lyme Inn. Hey, look who we found. Hey, Ken you know, Kitchings, what the hell are you doing here, man? Oh, wait, you own the place. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I have to make sure all the locks are nice and get around. Yes, and, yes, uh, thank you so much. It's very important that, the, that, that none of these things light up when you're here. No, 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 no. 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 Yeah. We'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> right. Uh, and, tell uh, you what, man, Ken Kitchings, uh, one of the top, uh, the unbelievable drummer right here, oh, too. Absolutely. Thank you. But Great has drum. one of the top 100 jazz clubs right here in the country, the Cyborg yep. Jazz Club, yep. phenomenal. We always love playing here. Oh, you always man. treat the musicians great. Mate. We love you for it. We love you and Chris. Yep. Uh, but tonight, 
Eric Mintel investigates. That's right. We're here, baby. Well, you know that you know you play a lot of music here. Yeah. And there's a lot of there's people, a lot of good energy. A lot of good energy. A lot of good energy. But and, Ken just uh, wants us to be in one piece in the morning. Yeah, so yes. I said, guys, <laughs> just and when I come in here, I want you guys to be smiling. <laughs> Everybody, because I'm getting the heck out of here. Yeah, he's <laughs> out of here. He's not. Got, when these things start going around, I'm out. We tried to get him on the investigation. He said, "Oh hell no." <laughs> no. <laughs> Cautiously, we entered the basement. Dominic began sensing past employees that were still here. I'm down here in the basement. This is where they do most of the baking. And as you can see, there's supplies behind me. But what you're not seeing that I can are two employees. One's a chef and one is a female that was here. She did some cooking and she did some serving. The female was here and she just enjoyed being here running the show. That's why she's still here. It has nothing to do with the old Lime Inn. This is predecessor, previous to the old Lime. I don't know how far back, but they've been here for a long time and they're still here. They want to make sure that the show is still moving and going smoothly. That's why they're here. You know, we're down in the basement. Um, not too much activity down here. Dom's feeling all kinds of weird energies down here from some of the past employees. We're gonna go back to the stairway because I think we get a little bit more action up there. So what, so what is that reading now? Still nothing. Still nothing. Well, this is where we got. This is where we got the orbs. This is where we got the orbs. Top of the stairs. And this is where you were feeling earlier. Yeah. What was that? While Dominic and I were at the top of the stairs, we both heard what sounded like a snare drum. That was definitely the snare drum, man. That was definitely the snare drum. What's the magnetometer reading? Nothing. Well, that was definitely coming from here. But that, you you heard it, right? That was definitely the, oh, the yeah. snare drum. I was wondering, because the rhythmic, it sounded like maybe a drip of water was hit. That's what I thought. That's I'm what's trying it. to debunk well, it, listen, and there's that's no what's water. Happening over here. Listen. That's the clock. Could it have been the grandfather clock? I don't. I don't think so. I know what a snare drum sounds like. That's similar, but that sounded old. Let's listen to that footage again. Upon reviewing the footage, you could definitely hear what sounds like the snare drum. Listen. Stairs. And this is where you were feeling earlier. Yeah. Feeling earlier. Yeah. Keep in mind, there was no one else downstairs, and Ken left us hours earlier. Truly an anomaly caught on video. Just looked at the footage. It was definitely the snare drum. So I don't know what the heck's going on. Dom and I were at the top of the stairs trying to get some activity from the orbs, the entity that he's feeling up there. And then all of a sudden we hear what sounds like a snare drum coming from down here, from this drum set. I don't know what that was. I have no idea. Wasn't the clock. I, nobody's down here. There's nobody else in the inn right now, except for Eric and I. We get down here, nothing. I don't know what that noise was. That was weird. That was really weird. Very weird. Dom, last night, what the hell? I can't believe what we got last night. For you to say that she didn't like the, the spirit, didn't like the way things were run, Chris confirmed that. The vision I was getting before we got here of the spirit up there in that hallway being angry and then coming here and you doing the interview and Chris confirming it just blows my mind how spirit works. Oh, and what about the orbs? What about the orbs? Crazy. Top of the stairs, down the hallway. That was crazy. Wow. And like I said, I didn't think we were really going to get anything. Yeah. And then right there, at the top of the stairs, where you're feeling the energy. Yep. 
that's crazy. I can't wait to show Ken and Chris this footage. Oh, remember the sound last night? What was what, that? What the hell? It sounded like a snare drum. It did, and it was, was like here. methodic. It was like, dong, yeah. dong. It wasn't the grandfather clock. It definitely no, was not that. definitely not. There was nobody else here no, walking around no, to was, do anything. That was weird. Well, it is a music Wild. place, man. It is. Well, let's get with uh, Ken and Chris. Let's head back to Bucks, man. Yeah, Another just, one, brother. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Ken Kitchings and I decided to play some jazz on a Monday morning. What better way to start the week? Beautiful piano, Yamaha, so I'm still in my contract here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we need the spirit of the swing. Around. Exactly, man. So we're, we're going to wrap this video up with some jazz, but we're going to do a little tangerine. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, we, we're a baseless uh, a duo, a baseless yeah. duo. <laughs> we base this on less. Where's Andy? <laughs> less is more. <laughs> I mean, what an awesome, oh, awesome place, man. and what an awesome investigation. I mean, I can't wait to show you guys this footage. I had a blast. Thanks oh, for man. having us up here. I, I hope you, you, know, you confirmed what I was already feeling. <laughs> yeah. So your, oh, aunt, your great aunt is here. She's with you. She's not going to stay, but she's <laughs> here. <laughs> so we're going to head back to Bucks County. We're going to uh, look at okay. the footage, yeah. and I'll zoom you, uh, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks. And we'll go over the footage and yeah. see what kind of you know findings we have yeah. here. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank I appreciate you. It. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks. It's great you, to man. meet you. Thank you. Thanks for the music on Monday. Oh, absolutely. We play the music. There we go. <laughs> Keep it happy here in your life. Music man. on it. Monday. That's it. <laughs> we'll see Thank you. Man. You got to All right. All right, man. See you later. All right, guys. All right. See we'll see you soon, man. Later, <laughs> later guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, Ken, Chris, I mean, this investigation was incredible. Not only is the Jazz Club, of course, one of my favorites on the East Coast, 
um, you know, you guys were so like so your hospitality was, was really awesome. incredible. I mean, we really appreciated you guys and uh, and everything, and letting us have full run and full access oh, yeah. of the uh, of the inn. You know, and what he was picking up even the day before we left, yeah, to go up there was, was amazing. And then you confirming it. Why don't we just mm -hmm. recap that? Let, let's re sure. let's recap because when I did your in, your interview, and we talked about that other psychic was telling you that there was a spirit there, not mm -hmm. that was not happy. What were you saying? Oh, well, on I was telling you on the way up that I was getting images already, and I was getting a woman that was there that was not happy, was angry with the staff, not with the patrons, but with the staff, and wasn't happy with how things were being done. So it, it was it was crazy because he was seeing yeah. her there too. He was seeing her there. And I didn't even know where I knew we were going north. I knew we were going to Connecticut, but he didn't tell me anything else because he didn't want me to know. <laughs> I'm dragging anything. him all over the place. He does. He drags me. <laughs> I just get in the car and it's put blinders on and go. And I'm okay. But I mean it's and to, for to get these images and not know where we're going and not know anything about the history or anything like that. And it's coming to me. It's flooding to me. I want to. I want to talk about the white elephant in the room, though. Is when we started the investigation, and he was you and you had said, and he had confirmed it too, that the spirit was at the top of the stairs. Yep. Yes. What are we getting? We got orbs immediately at the yeah. top of the stairs, oh, which, yeah. was, which was amazing. I I have to say though, nothing that we encountered was scary, malevolent, nothing like no. that. Nothing to worry about, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. You, tough to run in there. Oh my God! Oh, it is. And you guys, I mean, you guys have got such great energy, and that's what's the that's what's the greatest thing about the old Lime Inn. Yep. It's yeah. it's you guys, it's you two that are really expressing your love of people, your love of service, and it's amazing to see that. And um, so when we're seeing these orbs on there, I, I was blown away. We're getting orbs. And I, I said to him immediately, I said, oh, we're getting orbs. And he's like, oh, we've got to play it back and look at it. Oh, my God. And, and it know, was clear as day and on, the weird thing, on there. Well, the weird thing was the uh, the magnetometer that we usually use, that wasn't picking up anything. But the energy that was down there, you could feel it. It was, and it there was, was and there wasn't a lot of stuff going on in the basement, um, which was interesting. He was seeing the, you know, the past yep. employees. Um, but we went back. <laughs> this was this was crazy too. So during the investigation, you know, of course, we're all over the place. And we're trying to get some different, you know, shots and, and things like that. Um, and then around what was it two in the morning we yeah. got up and we're again at the top of the stairs because I wanted to see if we could get some more uh, orb action yep. there. Mm -hmm. right. And still we got some, but then all of a sudden we hear what sounds like the snare drum. Yeah. In downstairs, I, I thought I thought I was Ken like, had come back. Yeah, we thought you came back. I think we thought you were trying to trick us or something. No, and it, boy, I would have no. It I was had nothing to do with you said snare drum. I went. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. It was weird because I know what the snare drum sounds like, and it sounded like it sounded like a drop of water or something like there was yeah. something hitting it. So we went down there, and yeah. we turned the corner, and there was nothing, nothing there. there, and it stopped when we got there. And then when, you know, the grandfather clock that's there, I thought possibly it maybe was that making that sound, but it wasn't. And uh, that was really weird. Yeah. I mean, that was really strange. We were that both wild. Like, what? Yeah. yeah. And I, I wasn't picking up anything, you know, with my abilities. I wasn't picking up anything going on. So yeah. I don't know what was yeah. happening. Uh, maybe maybe Hulda wanted to play some drums then. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know we, do the, we do the... Uh, Sunday brunch in that corner a lot. Yeah. And uh, it's really fun because we're playing the music and, and I find there's kind of a spirit of, um, I really love, you know, with children, with yeah. young kids come in. Yeah, sure. And they come in and they kind of stop and they kind of go back and forth yeah. and they're swinging, their parents are holding them. Yep. And I think Paul does really kind of swinging. I, I think that, <laughs> I, I think the kids yeah. pick up spirits Oh. More than the, oh, absolutely, uh, yeah. When we, we put that place together, I mean, uh, mm. it was scary. I mean, there were, there were people living in the building. Oh, there wow. were uh, weird-looking old furniture, weird-looking stuff. <laughs> in the end, when we started going through it, and uh, we were like, like oh, my God, there, there's there's a lot of history already here. It, oh. it, it, it's, it's really interesting. That lobby is a... You know, it's kind of like the heartbeat of the end. Yeah, everyone's greeted. Yeah, yeah. We were just, I mean, we were just saying that. Their rooms. Yeah.
that whole section there is definitely there's a lot of energy there we went into the jazz club didn't really sense anything in there i think you you sensed a musician i sensed a musician in the back corner like over could by be, the bar by the bar could be harold mayburn it could be uh, okay. some of the greats who played the room yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Freddie Cole. Cole was in there, you know, all these people. Wow. There, you, there you go. Maybe that's yeah. who you were you were thinking of. Yeah. You could. He was trying to tune into a name, but he wasn't really getting a name. Yeah. Yep. Ellis yeah. Marsalis. Ellis Marsalis played there. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, wow. Great if you're hanging out there. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure they are. <laughs> it was a phenomenal investigation. I I just think the video is phenomenal, and I just hope everybody loves the video. And uh, yeah. you know, you you guys are a joy to work with. Absolutely. And, Thank you. And, Thank you. and I'm just and, and so, I'm so, well, maybe we'll have to have part two. We, oh, I think we might. I think we might because yeah. I think yeah. there's a few things that we still have to, uh, yeah. to answer yet, you know, but, uh, yeah. sure. we're going to, the story will continue. So, um, All but, right. but listen, you guys, if you, anything, you need anything else, just feel free to give me a call. Let me know what's going on. Okay. All right. Okay. All, All right, right, guys. All right. right. Well, Thank you guys you. have a, have a good night. Right. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks.